The world is watching. Autocrats believe that the world is moving so rapidly that democracies cannot generate consensus quickly enough to get things done. Not a joke. I've had these, I've had hours and hours and hours of meetings and personal conversations with Xi Jinping. I spent more time with him, I believe, than any other world leader has when I was vice president and now on the phone. I've, every time he calls or we talk on this, an hour, it's a conversation between an hour and a half and two and a half hours. Not a joke. My word. But he doesn't think democracies can compete because they can't act quickly enough. In my, in my summit with Putin, Switzerland, they're betting democracies can't compete. We can't move quickly enough. I'm heading to the G20, came back from the G7. You know how they measure? They don't measure us based on the size of our military. They don't measure us on how much power we have that way. They measure, want to know, can we get anything done? Not a joke. And you, many of you travel internationally. Can we get anything done? Can you put anything together to get something done in America? So, folks, they're betting that we won't respond to this inflection point in history. But I've always said, and I mean, if some of you guys who work with me know this. I've said it a thousand times. It's never a good bet to get a, to bet against the American people. Never a good bet. So it's, it's, time, it's time for us to invest in ourselves, show the world that American democracy works. We've always led the world not by the example of our physical power, but by the power of our example. That's why the world has followed. And given us that half a chance, there's not a single solitary thing that we can achieve if we do it together. So I'm hopeful. There's a lot of questions the press is going to want to ask me, I know, about how, how are the negotiations going and how we're going to get this done and so on.